Hello, my incisive friends, and welcome back to Alien Protocols. You know, just by observation, we can make some estimates about the UFO presence. And specifically, we can make some guesstimations about the craft and their abilities. And there's different ways to get data. How can we get data that's usable and useful? Well, you could take their average fastest acceleration or speed and get that average and compare it to our fastest craft and speed. And you could use that ratio to estimate craft power levels in other areas. Example, the weapons, if the UFOs are five times faster than our average craft, then their weapons could be five times faster, five times stronger. Their camouflage could be five times better. The metallic integrity, strength, uh, metallurgy could be five times better. The uh, envelope of their performance could be five times better, you know, transmedia, etc. So that is a way to get some, a little bit of metrics. And it could be very much more defined than just that. You could trace paths backwards from repeat visitation locations and stage an asset series in route. These could be cumulative steps that happen and they could be designed to either capture data, um, force a contact or communication, and much more. It could be very useful. Um, and that could be something that could be traced out and, and plotted. They have photon and frequency vulnerabilities in their counter technology. Okay, and what I mean by that is in several different ways. If we look at infrared, the invisible crafts become visible. There's a belief that they bend the light a certain way and maybe infrared allows us to peer through that. The material itself may be acting as a waveguide for a certain frequency. These areas of vulnerability could be explored, utilized, maximized, and there's two angles, not just photon, but also frequency um, vulnerabilities. <laughs> um, I could get to more specifics in terms of that, but I think I do further. Um, are there resonant frequencies that we can utilize for attracting, disabling, or disabling the camouflage of, or the anti-gravity of these craft? Is there different frequencies that we could activate that might just attract them, but could disable some of their more interesting functions? if utilized in the right ways. We could take their weight and find out the energy required to accelerate that rate to say Mach 10 almost instantly. And that could be a parameter of their superiority to our ability to do the same thing. And of course, there's obviously more likely uh, easier, lower energy ways to g accelerate to that speed, like getting rid of gravity first or getting rid of friction or mass different things like that. Um, so you could have that energy level, you could dedu deduce and say, well, they could have other features that utilize that energy level. Weapons that have that energy level. At minimum. It's a very interesting deduction you're able to actually do. Um... <clears throat> We know that they interact with electronics and oftentimes shut down electronics at a distance. Speculations revolve around powerful magnetic field likely associated with either anti-gravity or propulsion or possibly power. They likely could create a much larger, more powerful field effect just like that based on a minimum multiple of their ability versus our ability. For example, um, their ability to create a field at what size larger than the smaller fields we've seen historically, they could be five times larger 
if they added more energy to them. Is that realistic to say that they could turn it up five times more? I think it is. Um, there's been many circumstances of witnesses seeing focused energy beams, different kinds, scanning beams, gravity beam, um, disabling specific systems beam. These could be metric or vulnerabilities, possibilities could be elucidated or at least enumerated. You could estimate the sensor range, depth, data processing, and reaction time as a multiple of a previous value of their superiority in a known interrelation. So uh, let's say their manufacturing is this times uh, more advanced than ours, or that's not so the best way to, to frame it, but uh, they're five times faster than us, then their sensors could be five times further in range, five times quicker data processing. So that's another way to throw some estimations in there. We could look for camouflage smaller craft closer to the Earth's surface. If you look at, uh, I, I thought I might talk about this in here somewhere, the um, fractal UFO model. There's a mathematical formula for as they get closer to the surface of the Earth. If gravity is localized in a field effect, then focused frequencies, especially resonant with the craft or the craft uh, frequency that it's emitting, could disrupt lift propulsion or force a landing. So if gravity is a localized field effect, then focused frequencies, especially resonant ones, could affect the anti-gravity. We could also triangulate seafloor and mountain bases. After doing something that bold, you could go to the front entrance and peacefully initiate universe, universal protocols for communication. A location like that might be the type of place that forces a communication. Uh, oh, here we go. Use the, utilizing the fractal UFO model Dr. Hein and I spoke about, you can calculate as you get closer to the surface of the Earth how many more and what size and other aspects um, of craft are present there. They get smaller. How small do craft uh, stop at? Um, and other things. Um, you could utilize a UFO magnet to garner spectrometry, temperature, emitting frequencies, high-resolution video footage, radar, and other hard science data. I'm stunned that's not done more often. I have not been utilized for that stuff. I'm pretty stunned on that. I mean, just not in a major research effort yet. We can estimate how much further their nanofabrication is than ours, and by that multiple speculate on other values. If they are 100 years ahead of us in manufacturing as reflected by just the sample from a craft, we could reasonably calculate other abilities as 100 years more advanced as well. We can compare other values and see if they match up with that date also. So uh, we could see what other aspects are 100 years more advanced or what we could expect from different aspects that would be 100 years more advanced. Uh, we can logically presume a wide range of craft with counterintuitive shapes possible, plus at all sorts of scales, hard for us to believe, both large and small. And in knowing that, we could set up some surveillance. Um, if biologicals are avatars, this is a big one. If biologicals are avatars, then there's a link to the primary intelligence in a multi-sensory way. That is a big deal. You can calculate the size and number of factories to create the craft that we've seen locally if we get an, a good estimate. You could also plot out a production flow, required locations, and important hallmarks. What do you guys think? I think these are some interesting paths where some hard data can be presumed or just more wild speculation. I'd love to hear your thoughts.